So you went ahead and picked up the new Galaxy S23 Ultra, but you have been an iPhone user all this time. So you are looking for a way to transfer all of the details, all the information on this iPhone to your new S23 Ultra. Don't worry, I'm going to be showing you guys how to transfer all of your data from an iPhone to your new Galaxy S23. So if you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now. Let's go ahead and get started with this transfer. First thing to do is just go ahead and turn on your phone, select the language. I'm going to go ahead and hit on start. If you want, you can add a SIM card at this stage as well, but I'm going to go ahead and do that later. So as soon as you turn your device and start up the setup process, it's going to ask whether you want to transfer the data from another phone. So in this case, I'm going to select the iPhone and I can go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi network right now. So just like that, now I have connected to my Wi-Fi network. I'm going to go ahead and now the phone is getting ready for this data transfer. So you need to be patient and all of this will depend on how fast your internet connection is as well, because we are going to try to do all of this wirelessly. So because of that, you need to have some patience as well. Make sure you have charged both of these devices before you start this process because it's, it might take some time depending on how much data you have on your iPhone. I personally have a 256 model over here and it's uh, almost full. So it's going to take some time for me to transfer all of this data to this phone. So here you need uh, to go ahead and sign into your Google account. So let me do that right now. So just like that, now I have signed into my account. I can even add an eSIM if I want. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and skip this option. It's good that the S23 Ultra also comes with the eSIM option. So now I can copy the data so I can get started with Smart Switch. So I'm going to go ahead and allow that. The fastest way you can do this kind of data transfer is by using this type of cable. So this is a USB type C to lightning cable. So if you use this, you can go ahead and connect the type C end to the S23 Ultra and the lightning and you can go ahead and connect to your iPhone. So just like that, I have now connected it. And if you can see now, if I unlock my iPhone, it's just checking the phone. So I just need to go ahead and hit on trust. And now I can go ahead and enter my password on the iPhone so that it recognizes it's me and that I'm about, and that I'm about to perform the data transfer. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit on next now and now the devices are connecting for the data transfer you, so you need to be a bit patient with this process it will take a little bit of time but because we are using this wired method it will save you more time when compared to the fully wireless option that is there you can even do that without this cable you can just connect your device to iCloud and get the data that way as well but this is going to be faster and I can get all of this information on my iPhone onto the new S23 without much hassle. So that's why I'm going to use the wired option over here. So now it's still connecting. Once it's connected, let's see what the next step is. So now it's searching for all the data to transfer from the iPhone to the S23 Ultra. So we had to be a bit more patient for this process to complete. Now the phone has identified all the data that we can transfer from the iPhone to the S23 Ultra. So here are the details. So you can select the calls and the contacts, the messages, the apps, and all of the images, videos, audios, and documents. You can transfer whichever ones you want. So I'm gonna go ahead into the apps just to see. So it says Android versions of your iOS applications will be downloaded and you'll get recommended apps when there's no exact match. Data on iPhone apps, also, it shows uh, so you can transfer the calendar, the notes and the bookmarks if you want. So just to see how it, this process goes, I'm going to go ahead and do a full transfer right now. So it's actually showing all the apps that are on my iPhone here, the Android versions of these apps here. So I can go ahead and select 
all these applications if I want or I can just go ahead and select only the particular ones I want to install. I'm just going to go ahead and select everything and just hit on install. I can even transfer the WhatsApp chats from my iPhone to the Android. So here I can just go ahead and scan this. So here I'm going to go ahead and open my iPhone and then it says scan the QR code with your iPhone to open WhatsApp then start tap. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the camera. It says open WhatsApp. Here it says move chats to Android. So I'm going to go ahead and hit on start and now the chats are getting ready for the transfer as well so it's going to be a full data transfer now from the iphone to the android all the pictures all the whatsapp chats and everything that i have on my iphone should um, go on to my android phone um, the apps that are exclusive to the iphone won't really get installed but whatever alternative apps that are available for the apps that i have on my iphone will get installed from from the play store and uh, i'm really happy that this option is available to transfer the whatsapp chats conveniently so now it says continue on your new phone your android device will let you know when you can disconnect the cable so here it's asking again whether i trust my device so i'm gonna go ahead and enter my password just like that just to ensure that this transfer process will successfully complete here on my on my android phone i can now go ahead and complete the setup i can add the fingerprint um, the face recognition and all of that if i want but for now i'm gonna skip that because i'm gonna be doing that later on i even made a video on how, the first 10 things you need to change on your device uh, that you can go ahead and watch that video. I'll have a link for it down below um, As soon as you get into your device, make sure you do that here There are there are a couple of app suggestions from Samsung. I'm gonna go ahead and install them as well I'm gonna go through all the apps that I get right after this and just uh, ensure uh, That it's all the apps that I want and if there's anything that I don't want I'm gonna go through the whole list and uninstall it later because I'm just doing this right now just to see how it goes with the iPhone to Android transfer. So now I can go ahead and log into my Samsung account. Now we have the two step verification to do here on the device. So it will be sending the code to one of our older devices. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the code that we got. So just like that, we have completed the two step verification for the Samsung account as well. So here now it's asking how do I want uh, my device whether it's swipe gestures or the buttons so I'm, i i prefer the swipe gestures so i'm gonna go ahead and select that and to organize your phone it's gonna ask whether i want the home screen and app screens or just the home screen i personally prefer to have the home screen and app screen so i'm gonna go ahead and select that it's asking me the keyboard layout here as well whether i want the comma and the full stop on the side i personally prefer that so i'm gonna select that here as well now it says you're all set up and uh, now i just need to hit on that finish button and now we have loaded onto our device so here i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and add the weather as well and uh, configure that so that i get that uh, up-to-date information and when you pull this um, notification tab down a little bit you'll see that it's now transferring data from my old phone uh, it's showing one hour and 42 minutes to complete the entire process the entire transfer from this 256 iphone to this 256 s23 ultra through this lightning to type c cable but once this process is completed all this information on your iphone will be transferred to your new s23 ultra so this is really awesome just go ahead and try this out if you want to switch from your iPhone to your new Android phone. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, definitely go ahead and smack that subscribe button right now. Share this video with a friend that who, who you think will find this video useful. And uh, until I see you guys in my next video, this is Barno signing off.